What is up everybody and welcome back to Godspeed ZRZ. Now today I want to go over something pretty different and I think a lot of you might actually like it. So as many of you know, I've actually been looking for a different set of seat belts for my 2018 Camaro that we're doing the rebuild on. And I actually came across something that was pretty unique. I thought it was really weird and I really wanted to try it out. So today we're going to install them and see how they do. And this is exactly what we're gonna be installing. So if you look at it at first glance, it kind of just looks like a uh, typical seat belt, but it is a lap belt and a lap belt only. So typically I really hate putting the actual seat belt over my shoulders, especially in something I'm not racing in to begin with. So I always prefer a lap belt, like in the old CJs, the old Camaros, just any of the old cars whenever seat belts first came out. And I can't wait to throw this in the Camaro and see how it fits and see how it kind of looks. If you guys can actually tell here, it looks a little weird. It looks a little cheap. I actually got these online for like, I think it was $40 a piece. Um, that included shipping and everything. So it was a pretty great price. So I'm kind of excited to see how they'll actually mount up. Now I'll show you guys how we install them, but they've actually got these little hoops on the bottom here. So right on the seat mounts for the rear, I think we can actually just slide this right under the actual seat frame itself, bolt it on top, and we should be good to go. But since it is so hot outside today, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the Sorrento and we'll pull in the Camaro and then we'll be good to go. So you guys can see the seat belt I actually have in here for now. This is still attached and essentially I just tied this up and it works, but it obviously doesn't look too good. But first I actually want to get the other seat belt that we ordered and see if the female Chevrolet seat belt buckle will fit with the actual aftermarket male buckle. And if it did, that'd make everything a lot easier. I'd just install one side on each and it would probably clean it up a little bit. If not, we'll have to anchor it on both sides, uh, just like you're actually supposed to. So as you guys can see here, the actual buckles themselves are quite a bit different. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unbolt the rear part where the actual seats are mounted, and then we'll just slide these brackets down and bolt it on top of it. And just to get access to these, you will wanna raise your seat up all the way and push it forward all the way too, and that'll just give you a lot more room to work with and it's only two bolts in the back on each side, so it's not too bad at all. Believe it or not, the Jeep factory Torx bit that comes in the little tool kit is actually the perfect size to take these out. And now that I have both bolts out, I believe it's actually gonna be easier to just go ahead and lift the actual seat up itself, throw these in, and torque it down and we'll set it up the same way it was from the factory so this piece will actually go on the inside and the buckle itself will be on the outside now on these i did get the 72 inch so it has a little bit more of adjustability and we'll tighten that up in a minute but for now I'm just gonna to torque these back down and make sure everything's fitting up right. So what I've ended up doing on this side is actually mounting the bracket on top of the actual seat bracket itself. And then for the opposite side, it has enough room to actually tuck it under and it doesn't actually uh, mess up the fitment of the seat. So with this side, you definitely do want to mount it on top and just go ahead and put the bolt straight through. That way you don't create too much separation from where the seat actually needs to be mounted. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down with the real wrench here just so uh, it's snug and in the right place. And that mounted up just perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot the seat back, get the adjustment for these, and we should be good to go. So we'll do a little test fit here. And as you guys can see, it actually lines up pretty well. I can fully adjust this. I've got plenty of extra slack to adjust this right here. And I did go with the bigger size, like I said, without taking any measurements at all. And I honestly just thought I would go ahead and do that. That way I could get this all the way over to the side because I hate having the actual belt right here in the middle, uh, especially wearing a belt or something like that. So it actually lined up just perfectly. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna get a razor blade and cut this off itself. And I'm gonna plug this clip in to this side and zip tie it down. That way we don't get that seat belt light or the seat belt dingy. We're actually gonna plug the stock seat belt back in over here and just tuck it down to the side or zip tie it. That way we don't get that seat belt error code. And now we've got all that tucked up and We've got a legal seat belt, and it actually looks pretty good. Like I say, I just really like a lap seat belt. It kind of gives you that retro feel, and you know, I just hate having the, the shoulder strap on you. Since the seat belts got locked up in this one, it just seemed like the perfect opportunity. And now, we are all good to go. So guys, now that we got the driver's side in, I went ahead and did the passenger side and it is literally the exact same. And I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Now, I know this was a little bit different than what we typically do here, but I wanted to show you guys because in all honesty, I really didn't even think of those as an option until I happened to just come across them online. And now that I've seen how easy they are to install and how nice they actually feel once you put them on, I love just having a lap belt. What do you guys think about doing it to the Rubicon 392? Now, for the 392, we are going to have it in some more difficult situations than, obviously, the Camaro. But, I would love to have the option of just throwing on a lap belt, still being legal, and be good to go. So, if you guys want to see something like that on the Rubicon, uh, let me know. I'd be more than happy to go ahead and install it on this. I think I might just go ahead and do it anyway because it's different. It's a cool option. And if I could just leave that seat belt hanging the whole time and use my lap belt, I think that'd be pretty neat. But as always, guys, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see next. Of course, the merch is available. The shirts, the first shirts that I've ever done. The link is down in the description below. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and get you one. Let me know what you guys think about them. I need some feedback on these. This is the first time I've ever tried anything like this, so I need to know what you guys think. But as always, guys, until next time, just take it easy.